Here are the starters. Number one, Miss Sullivan, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield and Willis Ham of Missouri, trained by Tom Simmons. The driver is Rick Schrock. 1A, Naomi says no. Owned by Benita Simmons, co-owned by Cheryl Clough of Carrollton, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number two, I'm a new, owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrich of Jeff. The trainer driver is Tom Tietrich. Number three, Miss Braveheart, owned by Jan Calvert of East Moline. Guy Calvert, the trainer. Brian Calvert, the driver. Number four, Appealing Apple, owned by Margaret Decker of Atwater, trained by Bobby Decker. The driver will be Fred Finn, Jr. Number five, Fox Valley Birdie, owned by Gerald Vinnie Viviani of Charleston, trained by Paul Phillips. Craig Banks is up. Number six, Just Bambi, is owned by Bambi and Jim Fox of Paducah, Kentucky. The trainer, Jim Fox, he also drives. Number seven, Zoom, 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 owned by Richard and Doug Talley of Carrollton. Doug Talley trains and drives. Number eight, Trim's Victory is scratched. Number nine is Never Chloe, owned by Janet Vasconi of Laura, Illinois, trained by Guy Calvert. The driver is Tony Morgan. Post time in four minutes in this seventh race. Number two, I'm a new, has earned over $11,000 exclusively from county fair purses this summer. They're at the post, the gate's rolling for race seven. Here they come. Miss Braveheart off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Guns out for the lead. Miss Sullivan gets away second. Imanu comes out racing in third. Then Naomi says no. Fox Valley birdie on the outside as they enter the first turn. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Gets over toward the rail. Leads it by a length. Miss Sullivan goes second. Imanu settles third. Naomi says no is racing in fourth. Fox Valley birdie is fifth. They're at the quarter. Appealing Apple is racing in the sixth position. Never Chloe a close up seventh. Then it's a long way back to just Bambi and a huge gap back to Miss Braveheart who made a break again midway on the first turn. 30 and three-fifths the time for the opening quarter. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Leads it by a length. Here comes I'm a new off the rail from third to second and I'm a new is up to take the lead before the half mile mark by a head. Never Chloe is moving up on the outside behind her. Now, here comes Zoom, 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 fighting back to challenge I'm a new. They're matching strides up front. And then Miss Sullivan third, Never Chloe fourth on the outside of horses. Naomi says no is racing in the fifth position. They're followed closely as they hit the final turn by appealing apple on the outside of Fox Valley Birdie, the half in 103 and one. I'm a new finally made the top by a length, but here comes zoom, 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 right back to the outside to regain the lead by three parts of a length midway on the turn. Further back, Miss Sullivan is against the rail in third. Never Chloe is parked fourth. Naomi says no is locked in fifth. Appealing Apple is sixth up on the outside with cover, but still six lengths off the lead. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Takes the field by the three quarters by a length and a half, leading I'm a new in second. And then Miss Sullivan third. Appealing Apple gearing up three wide from fourth, still four lengths off the lead. Three quarters, 134 and four. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Leading I'm a new, then Appealing Apple up on the far outside. Zoom, zoom, zoom is off stride. I'm a new to the front. Here comes Appealing Apple, Fox Valley Birdie in the center of the track. Appealing Apple. Apple to the lead, Fox Valley Birdie coming on. Appealing Apple, Fox Valley Birdie, then I'm a new, followed by Naomi says no with a late move, but at the line, Appealing Apple takes it by two. Fox Valley Birdie was second, and then it was Naomi says no in third, the mile in 204 and three fifths. Fred Finn Jr. is a native of Greenup, Illinois. As most of you are well aware, grew up in one of the most prominent downstate racing families in the land of Lincoln. Fred has been having probably more fun the last couple of years on the county fair tour than he's had in a long, long time. This is a guy who has won such races as the quarter million dollar orange and blue, and he's been having a blast downstate. And he picks up a win here for trainer Bobby Decker really well with this filly, but you decided to put Fred Finn Jr. on her. When did you make that decision and why? Well, I had three to warm up. Didn't have that much help. And I was driving one, and I don't like to drive back to back. And so I just put up Fred. 
and he drove her good at Springfield. You know, he's second with her, drove her good, so I put him back up. And it pays off with a victory. He did a nice job. One more question. Somebody told me the other day that has known you a long time. They said Bob Decker hasn't changed a bit in the last 30 years. Do you still feel the same as you did 30 years ago? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I probably do more work now than I did then, but, you know, but that's the way it goes. Well, Bob, you're one of the best in the business. Congratulations on the win. Bob Decker, he's our winning trainer in the seventh race.